Hello, Games for Days. Well, actually, I'm Games for Days, and you guys are the watchers. Anyway, um, for this video, uh, I know I said that I was going to do the Hammer Shot review, um, but I decided for one of my favorite blasters of all time, the Rough Cut 2x4 for the Alert, uh, Ed Strike Elite series. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you guys the range test and the review and give you my opinion at the end of the video. So, um, of course, I got the tape measure here. Um, and I will show you the ranges, give your, I already said this, anyway, um, I was actually thinking of not, I was actually thinking of, um, not wearing a hat in this video, but no, I decided I needed to wear a hat, so, if you guys think I wear my hat too much and it looks stupid, then, uh, comment down below, uh, what you think, um, so, anyway, let's get into the main part of the video, and so, I measured from, my apartment door to uh, that glass window over there. It is the um, it's about 32 feet. Um, so what I'm gonna do is turn on the lights here so you guys can see. Okay. So um, turn on the light here. So anyway. <laughs> have a tape measure here so I can get the exact ranges. Um, I might actually have to do this outside sometime um, for a second review. But um, So this is the Rough Cut 2x4. So this thing down here, what you do is you pull it back and you pull it forward and then you can pull the trigger down and it shoots two of them. Why you might be wondering why it's called the 2x4? Because 2, 4, no duh. So, um, yeah, so what you can do with this gun is it normally fires two at a time if you pull the trigger all the way, but, um, as you guys know, like the Barrel Break, Barrel Break IX-2, um, if you pull half the trigger, it will fire one, and then you pull the other half, it'll fire two. My favorite mechanism for this is doing the one where it's half the trigger, other half, and doing that rapidly. Um. So yeah, it has one uh, tactical rail on the top, and um, no, well, it wouldn't have one on the bottom since it's pump action, and you would pull it back all the way. And, um, and then it has an iron sight right here, and two sling adapters, one right here and one right here. So um, if you guys don't know, this is the Elite series, which is um, the upgraded version of and strike, which means better ranges, more a better accuracy, and just upgraded versions of stuff. So, here we go. So, first off, I'm going to show you guys uh, shooting two at a time. Okay, so, here's what you do right here is you grab this, pull it back, pull it forward, and then I'll fire two at a time. Uh, oops, that was like the one where, yeah, see, that's what I like to do. But uh, here I will, sh um, um, I'm going to go get the darts, and then I will be right back to show you um, going one dart, one dart, one dart, one dart, and so on. Okay, right back. If you guys didn't know, this is, is a front loading barrel, so there is no clip that you have to put in to it. And bolt eight darts, you have to count them, and uh, so yeah. So again, this is my favorite way to fire the gun, is to pump it just normally, and then firing half the trigger, and then the other half the trigger, so um, you guys can see this. Alright, here we go. So there is the um, test of the, um, the firing test of the Nerf Rough Cut. So uh, on packaging, if you guys buy this blaster, it says 75 feet. On average, 
I think it would go to 50 feet, which is still incredible for a Nerf gun, so very good ranges, and um, I might do a second review outside so we can get the full range with the tape measure, because obviously we didn't use the tape measure in this video, um, but yeah, um, overall opinion on this blaster, very great blaster, um, handle grip, it's kind of weird, but it's kind of comfortable actually, it's weird but comfortable, um, this gun does say it ha has slam fire, so you can hold down the trigger, pull back, pull it forward, but then it gets jammed, see how it's like in the middle, and then this is out. If this ever does happen to you, I found an easy way, and it doesn't ruin your gun at all. So what you need to do is just pinch the thing and just kind of lightly pull it out, and then how it's in the middle here, just pull back, pull it forward, and you're good to go. So, yeah. Really great blaster. Hope you guys get it. Um, so, yeah. See you guys later.